What is the gift of the hit? What if within every adversity, setback, or tragedy in our lives, there is a blessing to unwrap? How would our lives change? The stories in the Gift of the Hit collection showcase the strength of the human spirit through the accounts of 20 amazing individuals, ordinary people who have overcome extraordinary events. Each one of them has chosen to embrace life-altering circumstances and find the gift within their hit. At 26 years of age, I was riding the high life. Celebrities knew me by name as a buddying photographer in New York. I felt invincible. My ignorance was bliss until the day that I was cut from my life as I knew it by the diagnosis of stage three testicular cancer. This time around, I'm doing things differently. My life will not be a waste. I survived my ordeal as best I knew how by capturing it through the eyes of a filmmaker. And now the documentary footage has created the foundation from which I'm launching a worldwide revolution in the state of men's health. The world will be different because I was in it and I will do everything I can to ensure that no man will find himself where I did. After over 15 years of sexual, physical, and psychological trauma, I was left a frightened young woman, overwhelmed by facing life without knowing the good within myself or the world around me. The only choice I had at survival was to recreate myself. With the help of therapy, yoga, meditation, and my stepmother, I moved from being a survivor of sexual violence to a thriver in life. I came to experience joyous love as a wife, mother, and yoga instructor. I am filled with ongoing dreams because I now believe they are attainable. At age 45, my firm grip on my solo life as an adventure traveler and international speaker started to shake loose, literally, as the first symptoms of Parkinson's appeared. For an entire year, I told no one and held my own silent pity party. Over time, my disease became the best thing that ever happened to me. It called my bluff on a decades-old bachelor's belief that I was unworthy of love. Once I said yes, I found my soulmate, became a first-time dad in my 50s. Nobody really knows what tomorrow will bring, but I feel blessed to have a choice. <laughs>